Mr. Transformers 96 here with another end of the year video. This time we have my top uh, eight favorite Marvel Legends figures of the year. Um, all of these were released in 2017 and therefore I'm going to be picking from them. Um, in this uh, in this countdown there were about seven, uh, yeah, seven waves released in 2017. Uh, so there's been quite a few Marvel Legends figures. I did pick my favorites. Um, I did this last year, I believe the year before as well, so I definitely wanted to do it this year. I do also plan to do my top least favorite Marvel Legends of the year. Hopefully I can get to that one without a problem, but uh, but for now here's my uh, my favorite Marvel Legends of the year. Eighth place goes to Jessica Jones from the Man Thing Build a Figure Wave. Uh, this was my favorite figure of that wave. I really enjoyed it quite a bit. It did feature uh, quite a new number of um, uh, parts. The face sculpt I think is quite accurate. The articulation is surprisingly strong, and the joints are all very strong as well. That's something that you know Marvel Legends sometimes has an issue with. Um, but on this figure, it's it's completely not an issue at all. This is a really perfect figure for Jessica Jones. She doesn't really come with any accessories. However, I can't really think of uh, any accessories that um, Jessica Jones would need so overall I really did love this figure and uh, definitely deserving a spot on this list. Next up, it's Logan from the Warlock Build-A-Figure Wave. Uh, this is a fantastic figure. It's 100% new sculpt, which is great. The articulation is very strong. I really do like the paint, especially on the jacket. The face sculpt is great as well. Um, the claws look excellent. It would be cool if he came with some interchangeable hands uh, to display him without the claws, though. However, I do really enjoy this figure. And uh, yeah, the detail is great. And character-wise, it is great as well, because it did come out around the same time that the Logan movie came out, which is kind of fun, too. So uh, definitely enjoyed this figure quite a bit. Sixth place goes to Beetle from the Vulture Wings Build a Figure Wave. Uh, this was a great figure. This was one that I was looking forward to, but not super excited about. But actually, getting it was surprisingly good. The torso was surprisingly a new sculpt. Um, the wings look excellent, especially with the uh, the little uh, back pieces that are like kind of meant to contain them. And then the best part about this guy is the paint. The paint is wonderful. It's got this like dark metallic green with a metallic purple. Uh, just looks excellent. Really pleasing to look at, and uh, just a really solid figure in general. Fifth place goes to the Green Goblin from the Sandman Build a Figure Wave. Uh, this was definitely a really nice, a really needed figure. I mean, the Green Goblin is the uh, the most iconic member of Spider-Man's Rogues Gallery, so to finally get a Marvel Legends of him was definitely needed and uh, and uh, you know well deserved. Um, the figure itself doesn't really disappoint. It's got a great scaly texture to him. Uh, it is mainly a repaint of the Hobgoblin figure, but I can't complain about that because it should be a repaint of Hobgoblin. So overall, I think that it is perfect for what it needs to be. The face sculpt is excellent. Really do love the face sculpt. And then the glider is very cool as well. Uh, definitely deserving a spot on this list. Next up is Hela from the uh, Thor Ragnarok Gladiator Hulk build figure wave. Uh, this was an excellent figure. I, this was one that I kind of expected to be excellent, and it didn't disappoint, essentially. Um, love the fact that you get two head sculpts with her, a sword, and she's very big. She's much bigger than I actually expected the figure to be, uh, especially with her massive cape. The whole thing is 100% a new sculpt. There's so much detail in the costume. This is just an excellent figure. They didn't cut quarter, um, corners on this one whatsoever, and uh, it really shows in the final product. And the third spot goes to Angela from the Titus Build a Figure Wave. This was a fantastic figure. This was, the, you know, the one that everybody was kind of like looking forward to in this wave. It was, it's the one that won the uh, the fan poll, and the figure itself really didn't disappoint. It was one that I wasn't super excited about, um, but actually getting it and seeing it in person, I was really impressed with. I absolutely love the hair. I think it's probably the best hair sculpt I've ever seen on a Marvel Legends figure. Um, a lot of this figure is a new sculpt as well, which is very cool. She comes with a ton of accessories, which is quite exciting um, too, and her articulation. Is of course top notch. Uh, just overall, a really solid figure. Character wise, I don't know a whole lot about her, um, but the figure wise was very impressive and uh, I did really enjoy this one. Taking the silver spot, we have Malekith from the San Diego Comic Con uh, Thor box set exclusive. Um, the, speaking of the fan polls from Angela, uh, this was the figure that I wanted to win the fan poll. This is the one that I was really uh, throwing my weight towards, and unfortunately he didn't win, but that didn't stop Hasbro. They did end up still getting him out in an exclusive uh, box set, and I had to get this figure. Really excited to get it. It turned out to be even better than I expected in person. I love the face sculpt. The hair sculpt is amazing. The weapon is very cool, especially the paint on it, and uh, uh, the uh, the armor pieces in the skirt section are just fantastic. It's it's the perfect Malika figure that I've wanted for so long. So I'm very happy to actually finally get him. Uh, he almost made it as my favorite Marvel Legends figure of the year. Uh, there was one figure that beat him out just a bit, though. I will say he almost made it, but he did get beat out. Um, however, I can say that he's my favorite comic Marvel figure of the year. 
And my favorite Marvel Legends figure of the year for 2017 has to be Mary Poppins. Yes, uh, Yondu from the Titus Builder Figure Wave. Um, this was a figure that was really fantastic. I was looking forward to it. I didn't think it would be super fun, but I was looking forward to it. Getting it in person, though, I was very much impressed. Uh, the whole thing is a completely new sculpt. The detail in it is spectacular. And then the amount of accessories that he comes with and what those accessories are are top notch. He comes with uh, an accessory that has like the magical effect pieces to make it look like his arrow was like uh, flying around, which I think is super cool and something that's very unexpected uh, for uh, Marvel Legends to give us, as well as two head sculpts, one whistling and then one with a big smirk, and of course uh, with his different uh, mohawk pieces. Just really great. I mean, they could have easily just had you uh, replace the mohawk or just given you one or the other, um, but they did give you both head sculpts, both of which have fantastic expressions. You know, a lot of Marvel Legends figures have kind of deadpan expressions. Um, this one comes with two expressions that are very extreme and fantastic uh, in their own ways and completely needed for the character of Yondu. This is definitely um, an A-plus figure. There's nothing that I would want with it extra. They have they nailed it. They didn't cut corners, um, which is definitely, uh, you know, something that's very much appreciated. So this, de this Yondu figure definitely deserves uh, the first place as my favorite Marvel Legends figure of the year. So overall, these were some fantastic Marvel Legends figures. I have trouble saying that this entire year produced a lot of fantastic Marvel Legends figures because when I went to make this list, I pulled up a picture of all the waves from uh, 2018 and I just went wave by wave and wrote down the figures, my favorite figures of the waves uh, that I thought that could, you know, make the list. And by the time I got to uh, the end of doing that, I only had eight figures. Like, I had the perfect amount um, for uh, for this, uh, uh, this countdown. Like, if, if I came up with more, I might have done 10 figures, but I, I just, I hit 8 on the mark, so it does mean that there isn't a ton of other ones that I uh, that I really considered fantastic of this year, which is a shame. However, I can say for sure, and with all certainty, that these figures are fantastic. So, uh, you know, there's not much over 8, however, there are definitely 8 fantastic figures of the year, so I really did enjoy all of these for unique reasons. I will say that the one kind of uh, through line that I can see with all of these is that they didn't cut corners. I think that that that's the biggest thing that uh, that Hasbro does sometimes, which can affect the outcome of the figure. Um, but with a lot of these figures, I did specifically mention it, uh, they, they didn't cut corners. You know, they really gave you all that you could want with them. So that is definitely the uh, the the biggest factor I could uh, I could look at for a lot of these figures. And these are all um, these are all great again. So overall, let me know what you guys think of my list, and I'd love to hear your guys' favorite Marvel Legends figures of the year. And I will be doing a, uh, a my least favorite Marvel Legends figures of the year as well. So that's always fun too. So stay tuned for that and thanks so much for watching.